Hello everyone, today we are going to be talking about compounds and molecules and how they relate to the lab shedding light on ions and polar versus nonpolar. Okay, so first we're going to talk about compounds, elements, and mixtures. An element is a pure substance of the simplest form. It can often be found on the periodic table of elements, hence the name. A compound is two or more different elements that have chemically bonded together. Also, compounds can not be physically separated. And last is a mixture. Two or more substances that are mixed together but can be separated through physical means. Okay, so the Lewis dot. The Lewis dot is where you take a compound. We're going to take N, A, F, which is sodium fluoride, and we are going to make a loose dot structure. Na is sodium, and it has one valence electron. We can tell that it has one valence electron because of the Roman numeral on top of the group that it's in. F is fluorine, and it has seven valence electrons. Seven. Each element wants to have a full shell of valence electrons. So, Na is going to give F its valence electron. Now... F has a full eight valence electrons, which is the octate rule, and Na will also have all eight because it will be full after transferring the one valence electron. Ionic versus covalent. Ionic and covalent are very different and have many differences that prove so. Ionic steals electrons, like we just saw in the Lewis dot thing. Also, ionic conducts heat and electricity as well as has high melting points. But covalent shares electrons and does not conduct heat and electricity. It also has lower melting points. An example of ionic is NaF sodium fluoride, which we just saw in the example before. And an example of covalent is water, which is H2O. Formula weight. In this example, we are going to find the formula weight of water. So we're going to start with the hydrogen atom, which is H. There are two hydrogen atoms, and we can tell this by the way it's stated. In subscript right here, we have a little two. That shows us that there are two hydrogen atoms. The atomic weight of hydrogen is 1.0079. We have to multiply this by two because there are two hydrogen atoms, and we get 2.0158. Next is the oxygen atom, and there's only one because there's nothing in subscript next to the O. There is one hydrogen atom, I mean oxygen, excuse me, and the atomic weight is 15.9994 since there is only one and we don't have to multiply it by anything.
Next, we're going to add the two together, and we're going to get 18.0152. In, in the hydrogen, there is one, two, three, four, five digits. So we're going to count one, two, three, four, five digits. So that means we're going to have to X out two and leave it as 18.015 G slash mole. And that stands for grams per molecule. And that's how you get your answer. Electronic negativity and percent ionic character. So, we are going to find the electronegativity and the percent ionic character for water, which is simply made up of hydrogen and oxygen. The electronegativity for hydrogen is 2.0 and for oxygen is 3.5. You can find this on the back side of the periodic tables we have in class. On the top right corner. Now we are going to subtract the 2 and get 1.5. Next we are going to go to the, the percent ionic character chart and find 1.5. 1.5. On the chart says that it is 43% ionic. And then that would be our answer. Now we are going to talk about the lab shedding light on ions. In this lab, we took two plates, one positively charged and one negatively charged with ions and put them together to make the bulb light up. So they were connected by wires to a little light bulb. Once the plates touched, the light bulb lit up. When you pass an electric current through a solution, ions migrate towards the conductor used to make electrical current, which was when the plates touched and sent through the ionic solution during electronesis, positively charged ions moved to the negative electrode. So when we place them in the solutions, we touch them together and see if they could conduct electricity for the light bulb. Electrode is a conductor used to make electrical contact with a part of an electrical circuit that is not metallic, aka one of the two points through which electricity throws, flows into or out of the battery, which this was also connected to. Polar versus nonpolar. We put different substances in water and see if they dissolved. In water and in oil. So the first thing we did was place the salt in the water. And then we would put the salt in the oil. This is how we could tell that things were polar or nonpolar. When we put the salt in the water, it dissolved, but it did not dissolve in the oil. This shows it is polar because it dissolves in a polar substance such as water. And water is polar and oil is not. This shows how like dissolves like. Thank you for watching. I hope you learned something new about compounds molecules, shedding lights on ions, and polar versus nonpolar.